Hello everybody, welcome along to Watford. It's midweek championship action tonight and it's Watford versus Middlesbrough. No, I do not set the TV schedule and yes, I do know we've done Watford a few times already this season. Looking forward to this one, always enjoy watching Chris Wilder's teams play right back to those Sheffield United sides. Middlesbrough got their first win of the season over Swansea this past weekend. They are on a trend upwards. It's early in the season, so we can always get a big bit of movement up the table. I think Watford also can go top. All of their home games have been sort of tight affairs. The odd goal in it, they'll be hoping the same tonight, but they did suffer their first defeat of the season here at Vicarage Road to QPR at the weekend. And of course, with it being Watford, we have the subplot of the transfer window closing and maybe the last time certain of their big saleable assets might be seen at the Vic tonight. Looking forward to it, Watford versus Borough. Let's head to the ground. Just gone seven here. We have Team News, Cathcart and Espria back in for Watford. We do have Jao Pedro and Saar in the starting lineup for Middlesbrough. They are proudly um, putting Rodrigo Muniz on their tweet with their team. He, I think that's his debut um, Brazilian striker in on loan from Fulham. Let's go and grab ourselves an adult beverage. Ben, what did Rick I do? Um, it's quite special this evening at Watford, um, and we've got this special kit. Can I scroll down? This is Justin from Do Not Scratch Your Eyes, who's just told me. What happens when Watford have a special occasion and wear a special kit? Whenever we do anything that's special, uh, we always play very, very badly and it's a non-event. So I'm looking forward to tonight, losing 3 or 4 nil. Um, last time we had a special event here was against Norwich last year. Fireworks. And we lost 3 nil. Didn't so, the floodlights go down as well? And the floodlights went down as well, yeah. It's looks, one of those nights. Looks yeah. a bit more like Newcastle v Middlesbrough, but um, yeah, we'll see how it pans out. Yeah, I know you do. I saw it. I'll get it printed, I think. Yeah, yeah you have yeah. to. Since the black both Vince Pippins and Sammy Chuck died in the last two weeks. And the third man, Tommy Carpenter. Fair play, Watford, 100th anniversary. Brilliant production before the game. Players are now coming out. It's Watford versus Middlesbrough. Here we go. start here for gone Middlesbrough lead 1-0 to be fair it's brilliant down the left hand side Giles beats his man hangs the cross up I don't really blame Backman in goal he just gets suckered underneath it it's such a good cross and Mooney's on his debut on the back post heads it into the empty net all of the fireworks all of the paraphernalia for God Watford nil Middlesbrough one. Midway through the first half, it's still Watford nil, Middlesbrough one. Mooney's with that goal after four minutes. Middlesbrough were really on top for the ten minutes following the goal. Looked like Rob Edwards moved from a back four to a back three to match up with what Chris Wilder's doing. Watford had a good sort of four or five minutes, but they've gone a bit off the boil now. Tempo doesn't look quick enough. Middlesbrough getting back in shape. That back three turns into a back five. And the onus is on Watford here to come out and get this moving. Looks good for Middlesbrough at the moment. Danger down both sides with Giles and Jones. And just like that, it's 1-1. One, one. And yet again, Watford's real quality strikers get them out of jail. They've not been playing well at all. Jao Pedro, lovely dribble down the left-hand side. He picks out Saar in the middle. Saar, cool as you like, nice feet. Shifts it left, shifts it right, curls it in the corner. And yet again, those quality forwards save Watford. 1-1. One, one. Five to go to half-time here. Still 1-1. One, one. Really good watch this one. Now, in fact, Middlesbrough on the attack as we speak. Most of the good for Watford comes through. Xiao Pedro, it looks really nice and open. I wouldn't like to say which way this one's going as we come into half-time. 1-1. Half-time one, one. Oh, 
time here then as well for one Middlesbrough one really good watch straight out of the blocks Middlesbrough take the lead brilliant from Giles down the left hand side gets that cross in and Moon is on the back post heads it in um, as I said um, earlier in the video um, Middles were really on top for the next 10 minutes or so and Watford didn't really get a foothold at all and it was only just getting Gian Pedro on the ball is what changed the game and that absolute quality again gets Watford back into the game. Gian Pedro down the left, inside Saar, great feet, sticks it into the corner and really that was the pattern for the rest of the half. It was very much Jao Pedro versus the two Middlesbrough wingbacks. It's nice and evenly poised now. 1-1. We'll see what goes down in the second half. We are underway in the second half. Chris Wilde has gone to the bench already. Paddy McNair moved into midfield. I wonder if that's the look after Jao Pedro. By the way, hit thumbs up and like the video if you enjoyed it. Coming up 65 now, still 1-1, a little bit more cagey than the first half, I have to say. Waiting for the decisive action in this one, waiting for the substitutes to come in. I'd say Watford probably carrying a bit more threat. Middlesbrough just sitting in and trying to maybe hit on the counter here. Would they be happy with a point? I don't know. Maybe they would. Um, may well be another goal in this one is my hunch. 1-1, one, one, 64 gone. 82 gone, still 1-1. One, one, looking like Moners even in this one, unless there's a late goal on the way. We are into four minutes stoppage time. Looks like we're ending this one all square. 1-1, one, one, unless I get my late goal. Wow, incredible ending to that one. It was Watford 2, Middlesbrough 1 with a goal in, I think, the 93rd, 94th minute. If you're watching on Sky, you'd have had the clock up and Vacuum Bayo, everything was bouncing off him. Looked like he wasn't going to score in 100 years. Ball deflects, falls to him, and he sticks it in to give Watford the win. Watford just win these home games every time I've been. Um, they win these tight home games. I thought Middlesbrough could have um, pushed a little bit more in that second half, but it did, to all intents and purposes, look like everything was going to that 1-1 draw. Muniz with the goal on sort of um, four minutes. Um, Watford getting back into it through Sarge. Yao Pedro outstanding throughout Middlesbrough. Threat down the flanks, but ultimately Watford get the win with that late, late goal. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on that one if you're at the game or if you watched on Sky. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Please click up here to see a lovely playlist of all of the match vlogs we've done this season.